And that is the finished bike. I know it's been a while since the, uh, the last video of the almost finished build. But here we have it, it's all done now. Um, it's ridden, as you can probably see from the footage. There is no drone footage or anything like that um, on this one. It's just been, although today is absolutely beautiful, um, it's been a little bit hit and miss with the weather recently, so I haven't sent that up. Um, but yeah, happy to report that the ride was faultless. I took it to work, um, I rode it along the cycle paths, rode it along some, what would you call it, the uh, sort of Varoika, the unpaved paths, um, rode it along the road as well. Performed great, shifted great, um, absolutely no problem. Um, took me, you know, a couple of rides just to get used to the friction shifting again, finding the positions of the gears um, to get it in there without any clicking or, you know, a smooth, smooth shift. That's the aim with the friction shifting. And uh, getting my feet in the toe clips first time was a bit of a hit and miss to start with. Um, but yeah, it, it's honestly such a, such a great bike to ride. I left it off last time having put everything together bar the wheels. And since then, I've obviously fitted the mud guards. Um, I thought I had these gold mud guards knocking around, so I thought they would be nice to fit on um, and obviously the wheel set. Now the wheel set isn't the 27 inch Shimano wheel set that I was gonna put on. Obviously as you saw me cleaning it, it was a Mavic wheel set so I picked up a or got given a bike um, that wheel set on the wind. So we had this Mavic wheel set on, it's got Normandy high flange hubs and it had this Sundor perfect free wheel on there which was in great condition so um, I've cleaned everything up, uh, replaced the spoke on the rear um, and checked all the free wheel over and it it rides beautifully, it doesn't skip or anything, um, that free wheel is in perfect condition. So the bike is now up for sale with the light changing, um, I've got it listed actually pretty cheaply I think, £280, um, that is essentially what I've got in the bike um, and it's gaining interest already so hopefully that will sell because then I can put money back into the mountain bike projects. Let's just go over how I found the ride, how I find the ride and as soon as I'm looking at the brakes now or looking at the handlebars I'll go over them. My body was not used to the riding position. Um, initially the first ride my wrists really hurt um, but by the end of the week they were fine, they'd got back used to it and it was actually a really comfy riding position, you know, riding down on the drops when I wanted to brake, riding up on top with the randonneur bars when I was just cruising along, you know, it was a great ride. Um, and as soon as we've got the brakes here as well, the 1960s potentially brakes, the GB uh, T91 calipers, they worked pretty well. Um, I didn't want to put chrome back on this because I wanted to make it rideable, um, someone to enjoy it and chrome rims are not the best. Uh, obviously an upgrade in the pads would make it even better, uh, but as they stand, they stop. They stop okay. There is a bit of uh, sponginess, I guess, in there uh, because of the old calipers and they flex a little, but it worked great. It worked, it worked okay. Now the eagle-eyed will notice these are not the shifters that I put on originally. Originally I bought some arabesque shifters to go on, um, but I've switched them over for some, I guess, normal. Shimano 600 um, to match the crank set, to match the rear derailleur. Um, the front derailleur is still an arabesque, but the reason I did that is because I've taken the arabesque off, teamed it with a crank set that was on the um, other bike and kept the calipers and brake levers from this. So now I have a full arabesque set to build another bike with. Um, but yeah, friction shifting. Friction shifting is actually really nice to ride with. 
Uh, obviously it's not as convenient as a uh, bar mounted index shifter um, you just have to sort of work out where that shift is work out where to pinpoint it um, but once you've got it you should get it pretty much every time uh, the gear that you need reaching down to hit the down tube shifters is obviously another disadvantage of it um, so you've just got to make sure you plan stuff in advance a little bit it takes a bit of forward planning I think um, because when you obviously reach down you take your one hand off the bars and uh, you lose that little bit of control so forward plan with friction shifters and they will be a really nice ride the Brooks is as Brooks do um, it's a really comfy saddle this one's worn in already um, it's still fairly firm but you know you've got this bit of flex in it so it was really comfy to ride I didn't have any issues with it um, I did tilt it nose up a little bit uh, because I kept on sliding forwards with it level so that is slightly nice nice nose up at the moment um, but yeah book saddle it's a, it's a great saddle and down here at the bottom um, obviously nothing really bad to say about any of the drivetrain here it shifted it worked it's got a new chain with an old cassette uh, old free wheel and it worked brilliantly the shifters uh, the derailers work fine I'll, I'll admit the pedals took a bit of getting used to um, trying to get my foot in the non-drive side as I started was a bit of a pain um, but once I remembered the technique um, I pretty much got it every time I needed to get my foot in. Um, it's, it is obviously a pain if you, you're just there struggling to get your foot in because the cage underneath is then dragging along the ground. Um, so once you've got that technique dialed, it's fine. It, it's perfect to ride. So it was quite a transformation from start to finish. Obviously this started as a brown or copper and green uh, flat bar four speed that was in very rad condition. Uh, it's been stripped, powder coated, new decals, lug lined, head tube has been sprayed and everything has been upgraded, so to speak, um, to, it's more 80s components, so it's gone 20 years into the future, apart from the brakes, which are pretty much the same era. Um, and it's a great ride, it, honestly, it's great. It's got now got the 700C wheels as well, so, tyre choice is a lot more a lot kinder for you a lot more readily available um, so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this insight into how it rides um, I'm sorry there wasn't more footage but riding in the winter apart from on days like this <laughs> is a little difficult um, so yeah really hope you enjoyed the transformation enjoyed the ride enjoyed the ride insights um, and I look forward to doing more builds because I'm being a little held up at the moment with builds on the way so there are more coming I'm just waiting for everything to fall into place because stuff keeps on getting delayed um, so yeah I'll leave you with that and uh, happy riding